Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to see everyone. Uh, there are some special thanks I'd like to start off with. First, I'd like to uh, thank the governor for coming and for his, his support, the support of your team and, and of your state has been just incredible. Thank you very, very much. Also, I'd like to thank the uh, uh, Mr. Ronnie Marks, who is the uh, uh, mayor of Athens. We also have with us Don Kyle, who is the mayor of Decatur. Um, also, I'd like to thank the Carpenter Board of Directors who are standing just over there with the blue helmets. Also, all of the Athens employees. My understanding is that we have approximately 150 people on, on board already and, and up and ready to go. We'd also like to give special thanks to Turner Construction, without whose partnership this would not have occurred in the on time, on budget, in fact, ahead of, t ahead of time and on under budget, which almost never happens in today's world. Also, would like to thank uh, our partners, uh, SMS uh, uh, Mir, for building this state-of-the-art machine, uh, the only machine of its kind in the world. Also, uh, Barge Wagoneer, as well as other community leaders, guests, and employees. First, I want to thank you all very, very much for coming. I just have a couple comments, um, two key bullets that I want to leave with you. The first one is that the Athens operation is a lean operation. I can remember about seven, eight years ago when we were talking about this, it was just a concept, and, and now it's a fruition. It's seven football fields long from one end to the other end. The product that comes in one end has raw material, will go out as finished goods on the other end, which is an incredible accomplishment. The second and final thing that I'd like to share with you is that this operation means quality. We have spared no dollar, no uh, effort was spared in trying to make sure that we had the best solution in the world. And I think that the initial uh, acceptance on the part of our customers, on the part of the already the uh, the approvals that we've received from our from our customers, from our suppliers, has been very very gratifying. So those two key points: uh, a very very lean operation, and second, a very high quality operation. Those are the two key items I wanted to leave with you. and all of you who have taken the time to join us here today. This really is a great, great day for Carpenter. This summer, Carpenter will celebrate its 125th anniversary. Last summer, we celebrated the 100-year anniversary of the Trope, now part of Carpenter. So today, we celebrate the first day of our Athens facility. And I believe that this facility will be here, thriving, and a core part of this company 100 years from now. When I look and think of the efforts that were involved in putting this facility together, just three years ago, we met and made the decision to come here. And I would clearly like to begin by thanking our board of directors, because they put the trust and confidence in us as a leadership team to be able to move forward. But also, they challenged us to make sure that if we were gonna do this, that we built the best facility of its type in the world. And they gave us the flexibility to do it, and I think it's been done. There are so many people within Carpenter who have been involved in putting this facility together, and I wish I could call them all out. But I would like to highlight Dave Strobel, who is our Senior Vice President of Operations, Bernie Merrill, who is responsible for our engineering department, Jim Seitz, who really has been the project leader from the start and has taken it from start to finish. Chris Simsek, who's brought us along and brought so much insight and technology. Ernie Jones, who is responsible for the facility. Jim America, who's out there somewhere, who helped make sure that we have the best and most talented workforce possible. And even a gentleman over here, Dr. Sunil Widge, who um, is, is uh, just a, been a great leader for the company. He's uh, a leader who has been with us for the last 34 years. He's been responsible for helping us to achieve the, a number of the core patents that we have that have helped to make this company what it is today. And so we thank you for your 34 years. And, and I just did some quick math, and you add that up. 
the, the tenure of the people I just mentioned, you have over 200 years of experience. And I have to tell you that without that experience and that leadership, there is no way we could have or would have achieved what we've done today. So this facility, as Greg said, is on budget and it's actually ahead of schedule. And when you think of a facility of this type and magnitude, that's not a common event. Uh, we really tried to embed our core values in this facility. And I'm going to just read for you our core values because as you have your tour today, I, I hope this will pop out. We at Carpenter drive world-class innovation for diverse operations. You'll see that. We help to enable customer success in demanding applications. Loyalty, dignity, work ethic, professionalism guides our actions. Dedication, pride in craftsmanship, quality shine through all we do. And we want to be a positive force in the community. Our vision is to be the most respected company in specialty metals. And I think this operation is clearly a commitment in that direction. It took 2,750 truckloads of concrete to form this building and its foundation. That is enough concrete to build an 18-foot wide road 20 miles in length. The hydraulic press behind us weighs the equivalent of 17 space shuttles or 137 Boeing 787s, so getting it across the world and mounted here was no simple task. Clearly, we'd like to thank our partners at SMS Mir and also Turner Construction for all the work that they've done in helping to make this success. At full capacity, this facility will produce roughly 27,000 tons a year of ultra-premium alloys. Now, these are materials that go into very critical applications. They go into the hot section of aerospace engines. They go into medical devices. They go downhole into critical energy applications. So the commitment to quality and technology that Greg referenced before really comes through in, in the design. And, and I believe this facility will help us not just compete, but lead within our industry. This facility will give us the shortest lead time. I believe it will have the cleanest operations, the best quality in the world. Now before I close, I'd just like to make a note of how pleased we are to have located our facility here in Athens. Governor Bentley and your team, it was three years ago when we came here and we made the decision and you assured us that we would have your support to make sure that we could bring forward a world-class operation. And I do think you were true to your work. You have visited this facility and visited with us multiple times to help make sure that we could move this project along successfully. And the people throughout the community have been so supportive, including Sheriff Blakely, who would like to thank for his work in helping us through some, some challenges we faced. And also, and finally, to our employees, our 150 or so employees. And to you, I want to say just a couple of brief but important points. One, Make safety your number one priority every day. Two, remember that this site is being built on 125 years of carpenter history and remember our core values. And with that, I would say to our new employees, thank you for joining the carpenter team and we do wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you.